Hey guys, Admin here with a review it up video for you. We are going to be looking at Rainbow High Pacific Coast dolls. Here with Simone Summers. Harper Dune. Hallie Capri. Phaedra Westward. Bella Parker. Fen Rosado. And Margo De Parla. Now these dolls you can find at your local retailer at Target stores for $31.99. From Rainbow High, we are now going into, I believe, for season three of the YouTube series that we see Bella Parker, Gabriella Isley, and I believe Cheryl Myers, that they are going to Malibu to join Pacific Coast High School and do a project with them or some sort of transfer students, something like that for the next season. That's why we are now meeting these set of characters. They're all beach themed with a towel, a toad, a surfboard, sunglasses, bathing suits mainly as their main outfit. We haven't gotten introduction to everybody yet. We only gotten a snippet of Margot, Harper, and Hallie from the Vi Life. Now there's seven total. We already have Bella Parker from series two. Now she is back to do Pacific Coast, which is very interesting since we know Gabriella and Cheryl also got a spot to do Pacific Coast, but no doll of them not yet or not coming or not sure what the information is on that. So there's seven dolls in total of this line of Pacific, Pacific Coast. I'm gonna go ahead and do four of them for this video here for part one. And then the second part, I will do the rest. For this video, I'm going to do Finn, Summer, Bella, and Harper. And then for part three, and as well as my ranking from my seven favorite to my number one favorite from the line, I'm going to do Holly, Margot, and Phaedra. So they all come with the same standard box. Um, it looks like Somewhat from the cheer line, I guess that's the best way I could describe it with just one singular window for the doll. However, since the doll comes with sunglasses, a tote, and a towel, we also get a side window displaying the items. For Fendo, on the other hand, instead of a towel, he does come with a surfboard here. For packaging, it looks like once you collect all of them, you can line them up and then do a whole display of like the rainbow effect from the packaging. So I'm going to take Margot's box to do for the other two that I have from this video to show that if you connect it, as you can tell from packaging, we get the green, blue, purple, then we fade into purple, red, and then lastly, we get the red faded into like an orange, then yellow. Since this is Pacific Coast High, they each also get a focus to do for school. So for example, Bella, as we know, she does do art direction focus, which shows on the side of her box here. For Finn, his focus is mixed media. For Simone, her focus is photography. And for Harper, her focus is performance. Cute packaging, we do get like a palm tree and birds on the side here. A whole window effect with Rainbow High and then in the middle here for the accessory specific host logo. We do get a sticker of watch on YouTube here in the front and then we see three characters at the bottom 
and we see the full lineup on the back of the packaging. So for all the other boxes, they all say the same message except for Finn. He actually has the same message as everybody else but in different languages. So the main message on the bottom of the packaging in the back, it says, Meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts high school on the West Coast. Here, the days are sunny, the classes are poolside, and the drama rolls in and out like the tides. Let me go ahead and unbox these four dolls for a closer look. Okay, so I finished unboxing all of these four dolls and already found one that has a defect that I'm gonna have to call or email customer service about it. I'm gonna go ahead and start this with that defect, which is Simone Summers. So I have her and her stand right there. Gorgeous face, love the straight hair, ponytail with hair scrunchies. Not much fan of the hat of the checkerboard, honestly. I'm like, no. We do see baby hairs, gorge. The swimsuit slash skirt. I was thinking it was a towel, but no, it was just like a, I guess like an over skirt, like to put over your bathing suit. It's cute. This can actually pass off as an outfit with our H's going down the swimsuit. The belt here is actually attached to the swimsuit, and then the skirt is a separate piece that they can all Velcro in the back. So for the D fact it has to be with her feet actually her right foot is not healed it's a flat foot and the back of the packaging or as it's mainly at the back of the doll where you get the doll stand and information of the how to put on the extra feet here and as well as like the MGA, um, thank you for purchasing paper, you get the doll stand and, and extra legs. The other two are flat feet as well. So yeah, I hope they answer my email because I need the right foot to be a healed. Besides that foot there, Love the coloring, love the pink and peach tones that they chose for her. The hair is very soft once you comb it. She does have pierced ears. Same articulation as the past other Rainbow High dolls on the knees, upper arm, elbow, wrist, and then these dolls can obviously look down and up with the neck articulation. It's just the foot. She also comes with a hair comb that matches her doll stand and they all come with this slim holder on the waist for the girls here. For her towel, it does say rainbow high. It's white and with pink sunset coloring for the sunglasses, rainbow high. We didn't even get to the shoes because of her feet. Um, it does have checkerboard pattern. It's pink and yellow with rainbow written in the middle. For her sunglasses, they're very slim. They're like a cat eye type of sunglasses with our H's on the side here in a circle. And for this tote, giving me like Louis Vuitton type of vibe here with our H and sparkles and heart and star emoji type print with an R and an H for the chain here. Next, we have Finn Rosado with his doll stand here, which is the, like the first series doll stands that we've gotten, it's very thick, it's very different than the normal type, but obviously for guys, they're built differently from their bodies, so this is standard for men, for the guys here also comes with a pinkish hair comb and a surfboard not a towel that's all plastic that is white with rainbow and graffiti 
our age in rainbow. Yeah, everything here says all rainbow here. And with a strap that you can connect to his ankle with Velcro. All hard plastic. So for Finn, removing his pink and white sunglasses here. Do you see a really cute face with his brown eyes? I love his brown eyes. Our H logos on the cap here. That can Velcro in the back. The strap easily just pull out and just get his head. And he does come with the fanny pack that's already wrapped around his body here that you can actually velcro in the back right there and take out. Ooh. you can take out the vanity pack actually has a working zipper can i get a tongue zip yes um, zip and put items in here just zip that back in the shirt california spark that velcros in the back Whereas for the shorts here, it has elastic band on the waist here, the white knot, and with the shorts, it all says rainbow and gold and silver-like foil here. Type of print, metallic type print. And for his shoes, he has straps on sandals. I'm not sure what type of shoe this is called, but I believe it's just sandals, but just straps on it. Correct me in the comments, please. And look, this is articulated ankles. That's stiff because he's a new doll, so give him that. But I rather articulated ankles, so it's a little bit rough to deal with at the beginning than removable legs. He does have the same articulation as what we got from River Kendall, with now I believe he's not able to look up at the like up or down it's just more side to side on the head movement on the shoulder elbow wrists upper leg and knee next we have bella parker from rainbow high now going into pacific coast high right there with her Cute pink doll stands and waist holder here, along with her pink hair comb. This hat here, honestly, at first when I saw the promo pics, I'm like, eh, I can live without it. But it really makes up the entire outfit with her pink and black swimsuit and with her tie around skirt here. That the whole skirt scarf type of thing you can actually velcro on the front where you remove the swimsuit velcros in the back she does wear sandals flip-flops that has the word rainbow written all under on the sides and then just has just has a pink and gold type of chain effect going on the strap I'm trying to see what differences can I notice from her face. Maybe just the glitter, if not as well as her eyebrows and lip color. Well, basically everything, the whole face, right? She does come with extra feet, extra legs that are healed with a circles type rainbow high sunglasses. A really cute tote with the word rainbow in the front. And for the towel, it's pink with that Versace-like print that says rainbow in the middle. And last but not least, we have Harper Dune here with her hair. Hmm. Removing her hat 
that is rainbow on the front with this type of Burberry type of print, I believe. I'm not sure what type of brand that is trying to like duplicate, but cute nonetheless. Her hair is very much covered in product, which I'm assuming that's is because to keep her styling of her hair. They kind of keep it all like crumb or curl. I'm not sure what type of hair this would be. Gorge face. Love her brown eyes here as well. Oh, there are flat feet that the straps are already coming off. Love that she's already wearing her swimsuit with her shorts at the all shorts. The shorts can velcro on the back, whereas the bottoms here, it, it is elastic band. She does have pierced ears. Going back to Bella Parker, she does as well have pierced ears. Show the ear. There we go. Yeah, Harper's shoes, I'm not sure why they chose this. So Sandal's not really hitting the actual but like it's already going back where you see like the feet tangling right there. I love the look, don't get me wrong, but there are some things we could fix. She does come with heeled feet slash legs here, matching sunglasses to match all of the prints that's going all over her outfit and hat. The tote right here, a rainbow with a unicorn or horse in the middle. I would think a unicorn has like a horn on top of its head, but this one doesn't. Cute toe. And yeah, with the words Rainbow High written all over her towel. Now this type of doll stand is very sand. Like it's glitter sand, literally molded onto this doll stand as well as the comb. I will say she does have my favorite stand from all the girls in Rainbow High just cause the coloring on this is just beyond gorge to me. I'm gonna switch Harper's shoes cause I'm not about these sandals. So it does say on the instructions that we, well, let me just read the instructions actually. So we have this, Poem. We see R, L, and the straps. I don't want to know about the straps. I just want to know how to do the whole leg thing that you can see here. And that. So we see the peg. We see the hole here on the leg. And then I'm going to hang on to the knee. Just pull the leg. Pull the leg. Again, and then I see the left foot, cause for the feet, the extra feet, it looks like, and I believe as well for the feet that's already on the doll itself, the left foot would have numbering on it. It's just kind of hard to tell. Let me see. For like, for example, Bella's, her left foot already has the numbers in print, whereas the right foot doesn't. And now I got the left. So from these four so far, I'm already having issues. I mean, just one main issue really from all of these together, from these four, is just Simone Summer's foot, her right foot. I'm hoping they actually would mail me another right foot for a heel, because honestly, I can't work with flat feet, because not even flat shoes and plus personally for me I love a heel because it just looks fabulous and glamorous. Everyone else really cute. I mean obviously Finn is the second boy doll that we've gotten from Rainbow High. So big ups to him. More info and details about these dolls during my ranking from my seven favorite to my number one favorite I'm gonna be doing for my second part of the Rainbow High Pacific Coast review video. Thank you guys for watching this part one video of Rainbow High Pacific Coast. Let me know from these four dolls, which one is your favorite, your least favorite? What are your thoughts and opinions? Let me know all of that down below in the comments.
check out the videos that I have on our Celebritas YouTube channel with other Rainbow High dolls, LOL OMG dolls, Barbie dolls, so on and so forth. Check out Celebritas on all social media platforms such as Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.